imagine having the ability to meet characters from your favorite book, or even being able to travel to the inside world of a book. This is exactly what happens to 12-year-old Maggie. Maggie is the daughter of a bookbinder, Mo, who has an interesting secret. Mo can magically transport characters right out of books. Mo can also read people into books. Unfortunately, Mo does not have control over his ability, which causes many issues throughout the book. Inkheart is written by Cornelia Funk, a popular young adult writer, and is the first book in the Inkheart trilogy. Inkheart, followed by two other books, Ink Spell and Ink Death, belong to the fantasy and adventure genre. Funk has written several other young adult books, including The Thief Lord and Dragon Rider. She also ventures beyond the fantasy and adventure genre, with many of her books belonging to the realistic fiction genre. In Inkheart, Maggie's father, who she calls Mo, has the ability to bring characters from books to life. Whenever he reads aloud, a character or object from the book comes out. Unfortunately, when Maggie was younger, Mo read from a book, Inkheart, and Maggie's mother was read into the book, while the antagonist of the story, Capricorn, as well as other characters, were read out of the book. After the incident, Mo swears he will never read aloud again, and keeps the true story of Maggie's mother's disappearance a secret. Meanwhile, Capricorn continues to search for Mo in order to have, his, have Mo's magic under his control. The plot includes betrayal, suspense, and magic. Will Maggie ever discover her father's hidden secret? What happened to Maggie's mother? How will the plot unfold? Find out by reading the first installment of the Inkheart trilogy. If you enjoyed reading about the magical school of Hogwarts in the Harry Potter series, or the strained relationship between child and parent in the Percy Jackson series, you will definitely enjoy reading Inkheart. In chapter 16 of the book, Mo finally reveals what happened to Maggie's mother and why he does not read aloud. Although, the, although Mo's memory is painful and involves a great deal of hope for Mo, Maggie finds peace in knowing what truly happened to her mother and a better understanding of who her dad is. Later in the story, Maggie discovers that she has similar abilities like her father. Your mother and I, Mo picks some straw off his pants. I could never pass by a bookshop. The house where we lived was very small. We called it our shoebox, our mouse hole. We had all sorts of names for it. And that day, I brought yet another crate full of books from the second-hand bookseller. Eleanor would have liked some of them. He added, glancing at her and smiling. Capricorn's book was there, too. You mean it belonged to him? Maggie looked at Mo in surprise, but he shook his head. No. But, well, let's take it all in order. Your mother sighed when she saw all the new books and asked where we were going to put them. And then, of course, she helped me unpack the crate. I always used to read aloud to her in the evenings. You? You read aloud? Yes, every evening. Your mother enjoyed it. That evening she chose Inkheart. She always did like tales of adventure, stories full of bright and darkness. She could tell you the names of all of King Arthur's knights, and she knew everything about Beowulf and Grindel, the ancient gods, and the not so queen the not-quite-so-ancient heroes. She liked pirate stories, too. But most of all, she loved books that had at least a knight or a dragon or a fairy in them. She was always on the dragon side, by the way. There didn't seem to be any of them in Inkheart, but there was any amount of brightness and darkness. Fairies and goblins. Your mother liked goblins as well. Hobgoblins, bugaboos, the Fendori, the Falouette with their butterfly wings. She knew them all. So we gave them... So we gave you a pile of picture books, sat down on the rug beside you, and began to read. We enjoyed the story, her father went on. It was exciting, well-written, and full of all sorts of amazing creatures. Your mother loved to a book to lead her into an unknown land, and the world in which Inkheart led her was exactly what she liked. Sometimes the story took a very dark turn. And whenever the suspense got too much, your mother put a finger to her lips, and I read more quietly. Although we were sure you were too busy with your own books to listen to a sinister story that you wouldn't have understood anyway. I remember it, it as if it were yesterday. Night had fallen long ago. It was autumn, with draughts coming in through the windows. We had it lit. We had lit a fire. There was no central heating in our shoebox of a house, but it had a stove in every room. 
and I began reading the seventh chapter. That's when it happened. Mo stopped, and he stared ahead of him as if he were lost in his own thoughts. What, whispered Maggie, what happened, Mo? Her father looked at her. They came out, he said. 